August 1st, 1966, University of Texas, Austin, Austin, Texas. 17 deaths, 31 injured. For far too long, gun violence has terrorized innocent civilians and brought entire communities to their knees in grief. You guys want um, flyers on what's going on? Sure. March 2nd, 1998, Westside Middle School, Craighead County, Arkansas. Five deaths, 10 injured. We pro protest the senselessness of gun violence in our communities, specifically on school grounds. April 20th, 1999, Columbine High School, Littleton, Colorado, 15 deaths, 21 injured. We challenge the misconceptions which correlate these heinous acts to mental illness, race, and religious affiliation. April 16th, 2007, Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University, Blacksburg, Virginia, 33 deaths, 23 injured. Furthermore, we challenge the systems and laws which enable mass shootings to occur over and over and over again in places where we should feel safe. January 5th, 2011, Millard South High School, Omaha, Nebraska, two deaths, two injured. We stand in solidarity with victims past and present to send a message to Congress. Tweets, thoughts, and prayers are no longer enough. December 14th, 2012, Sandy Hook Elementary School, Newtown, Connecticut, 28 deaths, two injured. We have the right to feel safe in our schools, and we have the right to protest when we feel our safety has been compromised. April 10th, 2017, North Park Elementary School, San Bernardino, California, three deaths, one injured. We demand that Congress take immediate action to pass practical legislation to keep all citizens safe from gun violence. February 14th, 2018, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, Parkland, Florida, 17 deaths, 14 injured. Look to Parkland. Change starts with the youth. We need to capitalize upon their unadulterated emotion and not be lulled into an acceptance of normalcy and the impossibility of change.